Hi everyone and welcome back, I'm Snookis. Today we're going to continue on our Europa Nutales campaign, Swedish Independence. Mark 2, even. And last time we were drag dragged into a lot of wars, I can see. Um, we are in, we're in a war with Denmark over Gotland. And um, as you can see, the, um, the balance is pretty much in our side, in our favor. So this conflict should be um, done fairly soon. Uh, we don't seem to have any rebel factions bringing up. We do have some in Pomerania, which we're going to have to ship over some troops to uh, repress later on. But I'm going to wait to do that until the war is over. And we're also in a war against France uh, due to our alliance with England. And um, as I'm sure I said last time, England is probably going to lose this and we're not going to evolve ourselves more than necessary. We have a looming disaster going on, a civil war, which isn't progressing, so... Um, oh, or it might be, yeah, it should be. So uh, that's something we're going to have to uh, uh, watch out for, which we are. Uh, our techs are looking fine, I'm not going to tech up our administrator yet, I want to use the monarch points to core after this war. How are we looking on coalition? There's some bad blood over here in northern Germany, uh, modern Poland, but that shouldn't be an issue as long as I watch out when I uh, do the peace deal. So okay, uh, we are marching down here to, um, I don't know, maybe ship our troops. Anyway, let's get started. I'm gonna start a bit slowly, just to get into things. Um, we have a call for peace, so we should look out for that as well. Uh, we can adopt a new idea. Which wouldn't be the end of the world, but once again I wanna save our administrative points for coring. So I'm not gonna do that, not yet anyway. If I... I mean, I, I could drag on the war for another three years just to uh, allow England and Poland to help me kill the rebels, so I don't have to. But um, I'm not, I'm not gonna wait three years, especially not with a call for peace. Uh, we got a peace offer from Novgorod. <clears throat> they will renounce their claims uh, from my last conquests and give us uh, war operations and some money. If I remember correctly, this war is for Gotland, so we should focus on Blekinge Blekinge and Gotland, and uh, possibly even um, this right here. Um, but if I'm not mistaken, oh, I'm gonna decline that. If I'm not mistaken, I was also um, theorizing that I could take Iceland, so I could expand uh, westward. Uh, later on and call nice. So perhaps we should do that. Um, our navy is looking all right. We can ship over six troops. I don't think they will have any over here. So I'm gonna try to get England to um, uh, ship some troops over there. We're not. We don't have another uh, any other seafaring nations with us. I think. So I'm gonna hope England does it. Um, regarding Novgorod, I think we want Ingemarland so we can uh, have um, have access to the Livonian order and uh, Poland, Lithuania. So let's see if we can demand that. We could, but it's going to give us some amount of uh, war, uh, aggressive expansion. So if we, we go to Denmark instead and just take the areas that we want, so th those are fine, can't take that, but if we were, okay. I think we could take Ingmarland as well, without incurring any excessive amount of aggressive expansion. The question is though, if we do it like this, it could be fine, and they wouldn't accept, but... Um, They wouldn't accept because we haven't taken any of these forts, or... 
Okay, Gutland. So possibly we should try to ship over some troops to Gutland. Why do we have call for peace when we haven't taken the core? Okay, anyway. Um, I'm gonna peace out with Novgorod, take Ingvaland, and basically everything they offered us, but I declined. So we get we will get uh, 26 uh, ducats, war reps, or I could do this instead. I think that's better instead of just 26 ducats. Um, so they will renounce their course. We will get a province. This is just Novgorod. Yep. No, no one will be mad with me for doing this. So yeah, that sounds fine. Looks good. Great. Thanks. Uh, how are we doing over here? We were we in second place, and we have um, half of the chance to get get more points. So. Uh, so that's gonna be an issue, uh, not an issue, but uh, unfortunate because we could use those uh, uh, monarch points. We're gonna hit the cap on dip points soon, which is gonna be an issue. Damn it, France. Okay, so the conflict with France is over. They took Calais. Good. That's good. Frees up England to help us out. <laughs> okay, uh, with that done, we should ship over our troops to Gotland. And we should pick a leader with some siege. Of course, that's our king, so... Maybe not. Um, we're full on leaders. Yep, let's go. Our manpower is um, decent looking. Um, yep, yeah, let's take the Diplo power, the Diplo tech. Crap. Oh well. As soon as we take Gotland, we're gonna peace out, I think. Um, we're gonna take Iceland, possibly also uh, Farana. Um, Blekinge. Blekinge. Um, Bohuslän. And Gotland. And that should be it. And then we're gonna spend a lot of time striking down lots of um, revolts. This is gonna cost. Uh, this is already a core, so that's fine. And this is gonna cost 49 and 32, 29, 32. So, yeah, we could. If we do this, we could probably still afford. We will be able to afford all, all of the cores. So, that's fine. Maybe I should have done that earlier, even to um, get our war exhaustion down. The siege should be done soon. Um, Norway is, I don't know, strolling around in Russia for some reason. Um, we still, ha still have one fort here, we haven't sieged down. It's um, not a huge issue. Not a huge priority either. Um, England hasn't followed our advice to 
city town Finland um, Iceland but that's fine what are England doing actually they're down in uh, in Germany Okay, yeah, we're at war with Friesland as well. I didn't realize that. An ally of Denmark, of course. Okay, uh, I'd say this has been a pretty successful war so far. We've, um, well, after this, well, we have gained some uh, foothold here in Germany, which should boost our technological advances with the institutions. Sure, you can have um, access. We can recall that one. We should really, oh, hell. Either our heir has died or their king has died. It looks uh, like our, it looks like their, their king died. And, um, Saxony got theirs on the throne. Oh well. Can't win them all. Soon we're gonna be done with innovative. Uh, which will give us some monetary boost. Since our, um, our advisor is gonna be cheaper. And... Ah, oh, right. When uh, in your land's cord we're gonna... Uh, we're gonna try to convert it. Still remember um, Pomerania already having a lot of autonomy, so we couldn't give them more, and therefore their unrest is unnecessarily high. But that's just how it is. Well, we've taken. Um... Oh, shit. We've taken um, uh, Gotland, so we should peace out right about now. I'm just gonna... How are we looking on? Okay. And our... So let's get, let's get um, a cannon. And... Yeah. That's it for now. And uh, let's peace out with Denmark. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, that's fine. No um, aggressive, no no coalition levels. That sounds great. We're gonna have a lot of power projection, which is gonna aid us in our uh, mana points, our uh, monarch points. It's gonna cost us fifty-five diplo points. That's fine. Um, we gain two prestige and thirteen ducats, and everyone is content with it. So unless I'm missing something that sounds great. Let's do it. We also finished our mission with Baltic Baltic Ambition and uh, got a little trade boost which, which is always nice. Let's core everything and when we've cored everything I'm gonna boost our um, uh, stability a bit. What am I? That's what I'm looking for. Gonna increase uh, autonomy in all of these regions, uh, provinces, just to avoid too many revolts. Uh, how many are Pomerania gonna be? Twelve thousand. That's that's all right. We can deal with twelve thousand without much much of an issue. Remove Pomerania from the map. Um, who is the Emperor? Austria. We're not gonna muck around with Austria. So, no. We're not gonna take that mission. Uh, although we could, we could attack Riga. Of course we don't have any CB, so that would be difficult. And everyone else is in the Empire, so no. We're not gonna take that one. Um, could improve, improve our prestige. Sure, it's um, neutral or protect against Scotland. Sure, let's do that. That's some sheep, sheep mission there. 
and this is looking uh, it's looking all right we should be able to um, get all these down before before that fires it will be done in two years and this shouldn't be take this should take more than two years so that's no issue um right the clergy wants some more power we can do that Uh, what should we give them? Give them then. Um, give, give them this. Decrease the um, yeah, unrest a bit. And they're happy now. Can we use any of this? Yes, we can. Let's get some military support. Then we're gonna finish off of this as soon as possible. Um, okay, with that finished, we're gonna buy some more cannons. Not gonna. All right, we wanted to keep the keep the war on as long as we could, um, so long to, so that we could core these these uh, promises in the empire before. Uh, so the um, emperor couldn't demand them from us, but oh well, sorry, Austria. That means it's gonna fire just any second now. Can we buy more ships? Yes, we can. Our position isn't high enough to really matter anyway, so let's offset that. Gonna buy some more barks to incre increase our trade uh, income. Um, since our uh, since we're um, in the negative. Yep. Okay. Hopefully, it doesn't fire. In uh, oh crap! Everyone, hold up. Okay, that's fine. Holy crap. I didn't... Why did it keep its order to go here when I actively diverged our fleet from there. Uh, well, that's on me, I guess. Oh, crap. Oh crap, we're gonna have to take a loan. Well, yes, let's just do it. We're gonna have to take a loan and we're gonna have to buy some mercs. Unfortunately. How is our composition looking at the moment? Kinda like that. Holy hell. Fuck you, rebels. Well, at least we finished our mission. Uh, we're gonna do that anyway. How is our coring going? It's going all right. Hopefully, they don't move over to Greatswald until we cord it. Of course, they are. Crap. Okay. Uh, which tech are we gonna focus on? Probably. It's gonna last for 20 years, 10 years. So let's um, focus on administrators since we're uh, behind on that. And then we can actually afford the next one. Uh, but I'm not gonna do that. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna save for um, uh, a stability upgrade. Or stability increase, rather. 
Okay. Um, actually, I'm gonna leave um, our routing out of these um, rebels for the next episode. Um, so for today, thanks for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you next time. And please leave a like or subscribe if you feel like it. So yeah, bye.